My name is Karen Hall. I'm performing at the San Diego International Fringe Festival in my show, Delusions and Grandeur. It is a solo cello recital meets a clown show. Uh, this is cello, capital C, they, them. Uh, we've been together since I was in middle school. So uh, it's a very, um, musicians actually start to respond to their instruments with the same part of our brain we respond to animate objects. It's a true neurobiological fact and a few years ago I just started leaning into that. Like what if this thing that is crazy, I allowed it to be crazy but then I could own it. So they like drill this stuff into us, right? Like, oh, the cello, you have to be so careful with it. It's like a person, you have to lay it down always on its side. You have to cradle the neck. You have to make sure that when you walk around it, you leave all this space for the end pin. And then there's the violin. You hold it like it's just a little baby. I fully embrace that that is what has happened to my brain. And I use it now for my joy and hopefully for cello's joy. And uh, yeah, we'll be flying up to Canada in July for our next appearance. Oh, silence. Yeah. No, no. Don't ruin it! Exactly the way it's supposed to be. The question of whether or not our audience is still awake and invested in what we are doing. A question not to be discovered for another 45 minutes. I was playing cello for clowns, live scoring their shows, and doing improv comedy, but then I took a clowning workshop and was like, this is all I want to do with the rest of my life. Like, the clown always has to fail, because the clown always has to hope, and I couldn't really fail at being a cellist because I'm good at it, but I could admit the things that I feel have caused me failures and their ongoingness, which is a very vulnerable thing and took me a long time to come to terms with. And I think that I do it in a occasionally humorous, <laughs> often sad, very vulnerable, I'm a sad clown sort of way. And in combining these forms, I really want people to understand the music because of what the performer has to say. And so getting to break away that barrier and be present with the people that I'm playing for, I didn't grow up with those sorts of opportunities and being able to make it for myself and be directly with the people that I want to share with has been so freeing, so rewarding, and so uh, the music and the speaking becomes a real dialogue with the people in the room. Oh, if we just did away with the pretense, with the stuffiness, with the snobbery, and became a little more approachable, maybe then there wouldn't be anything anymore in between us and our audiences. So if you're looking for strict classical, uh, you will get it twisted. And if you're looking for slap your knee funny, you might find that you have been disarmed and are now a little tearful following the laugh, uh, which is a clown space I enjoy opening people up to that. I hear from a lot of my audiences that they enjoy being so close to a classical musician to be able to see the craft, not just hear the craft, is also something I really enjoy hearing from my audiences. I love Fringe. This is my third Fringe Festival. I have two more, three more this summer that I'll be at. And it's so welcoming and a really beautiful place for shows that are just outside the box to find a home.